don't ever expect perfection from people because that's not real i'm not perfect no one is perfect only god is perfect and if you're on this earth you know <laughs> like you're not perfect i'm sorry to say this i don't like we love we say we you know we're all perfect the way we are but no one is perfect we all have our lows we all have our highs you get so the best thing you can um work around is making sure that you have the right people in your life people who are conscious of their flaws people who are conscious that they have work to do in themselves people who recognize that they need to work on things those are the type of people you want you do not need people who walk around life assuming they're perfect because that's a full disaster because those are the type of people you have to sit and tell every step of the way this is not right this is right this is you know like that's a lot of um work and like i said uh, cannot be people's conscience so you need people who have their own conscience their own way of thinking they have their leaders their gods over their minds okay that sounds too heavy but you know like they know the power the authority the rule over their mindset those are the type of people you need not people who walk around assuming they're perfect because <laughs> there is no one who is perfect what and also the other thing is you need people who legit believe in who they want to become even especially when um, the circumstances around what they believe in does not seem logical and i know in i remember in school there was a lot of saying around you need to be realistic about your goals and my debate about that theory is this if you go around being realistic people will speak impossibilities to you you need to understand what is realistic according to you yourself not according to everyone because everyone has a very distorted sense of be realistic when people say realistic like back then that used to be said to us it was more like um you cannot do this so you will never do it <sighs> that is so wrong because you know you might have failed in something today that you will succeed in tomorrow you just have to it's like a change of mindset you have to keep you know like how a snake changes skin you have to be like that i'm not saying be a snake but i'm saying change the skin change the mentality change the environment change like yeah like challenge who you are to become what you want to become and the other thing is be open-minded i know i say it all the time but be open-minded and this could work out in a lot of things um be involved with people who have traveled people who are very um connected to spirituality people who are connected to people people who have a tolerance of people you know people who allow other people to be themselves and by this i mean people who listen to uh, people who have, who give other people the freedom of speech because here's the thing if people have the freedom of speech without anyone trying to manipulate it you will hear a lot of things that people don't say um, like don't be around people who are so entangled in things are supposed to be like this and if they are not like this then it is like it's like do or period you know you get what i'm saying it's like if you don't do then it's like I can't. yeah so be with people who are open-minded be with people who have um a same spirit as you and by same spirit I, as you i mean people who are open-minded to encompass all types of people in life with love because when we say uh, encompass people with faith, <laughs> you know how that goes. A lot of people say, yeah, you're, you have the demon, you have what, you know, you get all that um, drama and stuff. Have people in life who legit know God as love, you know, who, who respect boundaries, 
who respect energy stuff like that and like i said before protect your energy don't go around just allowing everyone into your life don't go around just being because being nice does not mean allow everyone into your life you get and uh, that's why i don't agree when someone says you're nice it makes me feel like oh, what do you mean by i'm nice you know i don't like that word because people have distorted its definition being nice means love yourself first being nice means looking at people from a perspective of love of a freedom of speech looking at people for who they are you get and yeah so i guess i feel like i've drifted from my main point but you know if you're out there and you have a vision it does not matter how small or how great it does not matter if it has ever been done before or someone else has is doing it like i hope you have a clear-cut belief system in yourself that you will do it and you can and that you can make it i hope that you know that God has a way of bringing things together like do what you can and what you cannot do trust me trust me God has a way of always working those things out the things if you find that something is not working out uh, simply because you are believing in it most of the times it's because God has already placed it in you and you have the power to activate that thing to come into manifestation and what you cannot god always finds a way to bring it in whether it's a resource whether it's a character whether it's a personality and i truly believe in this because it has happened to me it keeps happening to me sometimes i feel like i've reached a dead end with something because i, I cannot do something the way i wanted to do it i wanted to do it and i find god opening up doors for me that i did not expect you know so don't limit yourself don't just say like you uh life is supposed to be like this so i'm stuck in this situation believe what do you lose by believing even if let's say uh god forbid that you believe in in a certain uh, standard of greatness and you go to your bed um not having achieved it do you know what the glory of the whole thing is that you believed in something bigger than you and that is never a loss it's better than um, not believing in something greater because if you to the end of your life not believing in uh, having lived in a place of ah no one has ever done it so i cannot do it i'm telling you that thing will eat you up you will like imagine it's so us like for me personally i cannot allow myself to live at a place of no one has done it so i cannot do it like for me that's i know i'd rather believe and get to the end of my life not having achieved it knowing that i did everything i could to achieve it like for me that's worth living for you know for me it's more about the power using the power god has given you of believing and of working towards it you don't just want to live like a, you don't have purpose you don't have an ambition you don't have a goal you don't have an oomph like you don't have something that drives you and you know uh, people take it for granted but when you start losing hope in your vision most of the time that is a, a thing that drives you into depression it's the thing that drives you into feeling like you're tired of life i know i've experienced it i've experienced depression and i've experienced idol uh, thoughts for a very long time and it's so shocking to the people around me because i'm always i always seem like a happy person but i'm telling you if you stop believing in what you're supposed to be if you stop believing in the possibility of what you can become it's like you're depriving your, you're depriving yourself of life it's like you're draining life out of yourself literally even in your own body you know because everything that starts in the spirit drops down to the body like that's a fact so um, to protect yourself even mentally you better believe in something big i don't care what anyone ever tells you like for me when i um and i know people are stuck in this thing of someone said they cannot do it so you never do it <laughs> honey let me tell you something for me before i started this platform someone told me to my face 
I cannot do it. And do you know what I'm doing? I'm doing the thing that they said I could not do. Because no one is supposed to tell you what you can or what you cannot do. If you never do anything in your life, let it be a decision from yourself, from your God place. You get what I'm saying? Not from a perspective of what people say is possible for you. You get? Yeah, so if you're going to give up on, on anything, don't let it be influenced by people. You know, if you're letting go of something, let go because you feel like it's not serving you. And it's not serving the people you want it to serve. Not because someone said this is possible and this is not possible. Because um, no one is God in this life. I know we're all gods, but no one is the Messiah. No one uh, dictates how your life is going to roll except God and then you. You're the vessel, you know. God has placed it in you. So it's you to roll with God's ball. You know, not with people's. You get what I'm saying? And if luck is your excuse, bro, like cut it out. Lack of resources should never be an excuse. You can do something. Start with that little something that you can do. Even if you're knocking on walls, you get? It's like, look at it like a job interview. Well, all of us, we have a different experience when it comes to getting jobs. But this is the thing. When you go for a job interview, you go with the belief that you'll get it. Even if you don't get it, you come out with the attitude that I'm going to get a better one, you get? So that's the same thing with a vision. If you don't get this one thing, you don't quit because it did not work out this time. You keep pushing and the day when the right time, uh, when ile siku, huh? <laughs> when the right time comes, I mean, by right time, I mean God's time. When God's time comes, I'm telling you things will keep happening. It will be a sequence of things happening one after another after another, you get? So, yeah. So, this will be a long uh, video, but I hope you get the point. I hope you're elevated. I hope you're inspired and motivated. And I hope that you're not stopping for anyone, for no environment, for no societal standards. And I hope you are doing it because it's God-given. I love you. God bless you. Like, share, subscribe. Peace out. Like, share, subscribe. Hey, man, that car was meant for you.